guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 13 of Wonderful Pretty Cure. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Excuse me. I want chocolate. Can we go in there and get some chocolate? <laughs> Really? <laughs> yep. So we got three. We we hope so, but you know, as of right now, she's just doing everything for Mayu. That too. Right. Huh? I don't know. You think that's a good idea? Right, yeah, yeah, Satoru over here like, I don't know, maybe. Guys, it's not really Sunday yet, it's only 11.36, but I don't want to go to work on Monday. After being home on vacation for two whole weeks. I'm used to it now, and I hate that, because now I have to get unused to it and stuff. Like, I've been able to play my game. My game came out on Friday. Friday? Nope. Well, yeah, Friday night, because mm, Thursday night, Friday morning. And I, the fact that I am so far in this game as of right now, I'm not nowhere near done with it yet, but... At least, like, I got a good length on the game, and it's just super addicting, and I want to play more, but I'm like, <laughs> I gotta go back to work soon, and I gotta balance the doing several other things while also trying to play a game. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bum, bum. Yeah. Oh. No. Oh. Yeah, where do we like to start? Oh, Komogi. The cure twinkle. Hmm? Hmm? That's a little girl. Right. Which is true, yes. Well, I mean, ever since last season, or really even beforehand, babies can officially be pretty good. What? No, 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 no. Oh. can't let anybody know. Woo! Thank the 
Lord. Bye. Yeah. Where? Not a horse? Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a clue. Yeah. Nice save. <laughs> yeah. Did everything sell out? Yeah.
There we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, of course, that's the typical answer. Mm, back to the drawing board. There she is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, you literally saw her not too long ago. She is again. That's definitely not good. Uh, it's too late. Why are you about to be involved? So we gotta go check, right? Right. Is it a porcupine? Wait, not a porcupine. Hedgehog? Mm hmm. Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> what are you 
she instantly just carries her. That's so cute. Like a cat. Oh my god, guys, put two and two together, please. I need it. She just leaves like that. Oh my god. I am not about to ship this girl with her dang cat, but they cute. <laughs> <laughs> Now see, now we just playing pinball. The hedgehog. Hold on, you don't need to do this. the I don't need friends look because there she goes
バイバイ。Mayu, that's a clue. That is a clue. A big behind clue. <laughs> like, oh my god. Yeah. Why does she always rescue me? Be like, girl. Satoru, Mayu, Komogi, and Iroha. Two plus two. It is four babies. Figure that ish out. I know you can. Oh my god. Like, literally, we're probably going to find out next week. Or they're going to find out next week. But it does make me wonder. <sighs> Double transformation for both, maybe. I mean, we can't be for sure. That's the biggest thing. But you know, we just gotta wait and see. Now, I, I love the fact that you know Yuki did rescue her owner, which was sweet and stuff. But that should really more or less give it away to Mayu. But, we're there, but we're not really there there yet. So, okay. It's okay. Take its time. Run its course. All that jazz and everything. But, <laughs> seeing Komoki trying to go run around and find out, like, where Kiranami is, bruh. And she kept getting it wrong. I'm sorry. That's so freaking cute because that's dogs in a nutshell. You'd be like, here, sniff this. And they'd be like, Okay. I know what this is and what it belongs to. And then, yeah, they give you something else. But there are some good smart dogs, you know. And I'm not saying this. All, dogs are smart. Very, very smart. Looks can be deceiving with dogs. They really are the smartest. Uh-oh. Is Mayu about to find out that those two are pretty curious? I mean, that makes the most sense. So, hold on. Let me watch that preview one more time real quick. Let me see if I can... So, it is Yuki... Yuki sick. How the heck Yuki get sick? Yuki's tired. Well, more or less, we can say she's kind of sick. Okay, so one, uh, we about to go into an episode where like it, it's everybody's kind of biggest fear. What? Well, one of many. When when your animal gets sick, when your pet gets sick, that's like the worst freaking thing for as a pet owner because you are praying to God it is not something that is like they ate something that was extremely toxic and stuff for them. So like when Cody, when Cody eats. Or when Cody bugs for food, I literally have to make sure, like, can I give him this? Like, I, okay. So recently with Cody, I've been giving Cody, um, for about, I want to say a good couple of months now, these really good dental treats and stuff. Beforehand, I was giving him this other brand from Amazon, but when I took him to the vet to get his teeth clean, um, my mom and I both asked, like, okay, well, what should we use? And he said, look for something that's always, like, I think it was like a four letter word um, and approved with it. So I did find one. Dude, they were hella expensive though. But I found a big, bigger version for it for, so I got more bang for my buck. So I took like the last of the ones that I had with the new one and put it together. Um, but my biggest fear um, that I've had officially now with Cody was a while back ago, um, almost around a year ago, sometime last year, I was home with him. And my mom, my mom and I kind of noticed it around like the same time. He had a little small tumor, um, on his stomach. And it's very prevalent for like almost Yorkies and small dogs in a nutshell. So the same thing that was happening to Kiana was happening to him. And I prayed to God, like ever since that situation that happened with Kiana and we had to, you know, part her down, I was begging, pleading that nothing like that would happen again. And to see that happen again with Cody at such a young age, um, I panicked. I, I had like a really bad, 
um, close to almost a really bad anxiety attack over him because he he's my baby i love him to death i would I, I i i the things i would do for that little dog even though he got my nerves sometimes the things that i would do for cody and the things that i did for yana and kiana because i love them all so much um but i was crying my ass off at work um because i was just super scared so we eventually we did take cody to the vet and so they wanted to do like a same day surgery for him and so my mom and I were like well okay we'll just take him home and we'll come back and bring him when it's time to go no they wanted to take the dog already and so mind you I've only been the only time I've really been separated from Cody was when I went on um the little girls vacation trip from hell that I like to call it a few years ago uh about a year or two ago that, other than that me and Cody we like this um except when I go to work <laughs> <laughs> except when I, when I go to work because when I go to work that dog is like my mom's best friend for like several hours until she comes to pick me up um but thank god they got it it was just a little tiny one thank god um and he's okay he the, the dog is just happy and healthy and stuff and so I'm that's the biggest thing is I just want him to live a really good life and stuff all the way up until the end until it is time for me to do the one thing that no pet owner wants to do and such. And thank God we're not getting an episode like that because, whoo, I know I'd be snooting and starting and crying next week if that happened. But I, I, you'll definitely see how Mayu, whatever Mayu will do to be takes and how she's worrying and stuff. It's the, the constant, sometimes we overeat when we're worrying about our animals. It's just the constant thinking about them regardless because they are our babies and stuff and we do like care for them as if you know we had birthed it the baby even though we didn't but yeah no I'm really excited to see this this relationship continue on with these two and such and then also comparing it to my own relationship to my dog <laughs> but no I thought this was a really enjoyable episode it kind of went by quick was it me I mean pretty clear episodes have gone that way but yeah, this felt really quick, though. Not mad at it, though. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 13 of Wonderful Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the match squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for me, a.k.a. Sunday for y'all. Because, of course, officially, I gotta go to work. And, of course, I gotta work Sundays again, which are my hell personally but until then i will see you guys all next time bye